So today is kind of a bittersweet day. So right now I'm actually moving our combine, our 9660, and I'm taking it to the dealer shop, our local John Deere dealer, and I'm gonna be dropping it off. Kind of a bittersweet moment because this is my final drive with this thing. Uh, we're actually upgrading combines. After I drop this one off, I can't just go pick up the replacement, our new one. It's at a different dealership and they're gonna do a handful of things to it that they gotta fix before we just pick it up. But we're gonna move this one today because it's nice and cold out this morning and it's been pretty rainy and nasty out and muddy pretty much all week. So that's why I'm kinda doing this first thing in the morning. It's on the weekend. It's a little bit colder out today. So the roads are nice and dry. But yeah, just kinda to take in one last drive with this thing. Never say never. I do know the own the new owner of this who's going to be buying this. It's a family friend, and they're just down the road. So maybe someday I'll be driving it again or drive it. But it's a good chance that I probably won't be. It's been a long time coming. We've been talking about upgrading combines for a good five years or more, and this is really kind of the first combine I started on. I drove our old one our old 9500 once or twice, but never without dad, or I just drove it up and down the lane or driveway or something, but that was like once or twice. And I started operating this one kind of by myself when I was about 16, 17 years old. But this is really kind of the first combine I started out with. Look inside the cab. Well, I just backed the new combine out of the warehouse. This thing feels twice as big as our old combine. Just pulled out of the warehouse, and the first thing I noticed that's different is there's no gear shift here. It's all right here on your armrest, even the parking brake. Used to be a foot switch in the old combine. combine all right so I've just been driving about 10 minutes or so I just got outside of town I put the camera down so I could pay attention um, first impressions uh, the cab is definitely bigger uh, visibility is way nicer than the other machine it really feels like I'm driving a much bigger machine even though I'm not really it's not that much bigger but I find myself checking edges of my tires, watching the duals of where the ends are, make sure I don't hit mailboxes or nothing. Old machine, I had like a sixth sense. I always kind of knew where they were and I would just drive, where here I kind of find myself uh, watching the sides of me a lot right now. The thing I noticed is this thing is pretty slow. I'm only doing 17.7 and as far as I know, I got it in top speed, you know, third gear and it got the lever pushed all the way forward. And uh, got it on rabbit so I think it's a bit slower than the other combine the other combine did about 20 uh, 21 maybe that doesn't sound like a big difference but in farm machinery it, it is uh, that's actually quite a bit bit of a difference uh, between 17 and a half and 20 miles an hour definitely do kind of miss the gear shift that we had in the old combine where this is push button um, I was already kind of yelling at me to screen because I would try to like switch gears when I wasn't fully stopped in neutral. Old combine you kind of had to have, to have it rolling just a little bit to get to shift gears. So that's something I'm gonna have to get used to and make sure the combine's fully stopped for it to switch gears. Climate control, uh, way nicer in here. I, it heated up in here really quickly where the old combine, if it was cold, it probably took a good 20, 30 minutes for it to get warm inside the cab. Yeah, but it looks like there's Bluetooth radio, which is cool. I think this is 
gonna be the first machine where we actually have Bluetooth on our uh, radio, so that'd be fun. Uh, I'm not sure if this one has like the cell phone talking. This might be it, the speaker here. Maybe. Another feature, you can adjust your mirrors from inside the cab, that's nice. Definitely didn't have that on the other combine, but usually once you get the mirrors adjusted where you want them, they kind of stay there forever until you bump them with the tree branch or something. The joystick here itself is pretty much identical to the 9660, so that's nothing new there. That all looks the same, which is going to be nice. So trying to figure out everything. There's a, quite a few more buttons on the side here of the armrest. Everything is pretty much on the screen now. So got the combine home now. Uh, definitely could use a good power wash. The camera makes it look nicer than what it actually is. It's pretty dirty. That and the cab could be detailed. Also, there's no, no carpet in the cab and usually we put carpets in the cabs. So gotta go somewhere and grab some carpet and cut it to fit. But I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And right now we're kind of cleaning out the cold storage building and going to make some space for in here for the combine. We're going to pull the cultivator out. That doesn't really need to be in here anymore. Uh, we're going to be using it hopefully in uh, next month or so. And winter's pretty much over. So this can go out and we can make room for the combine to go in. Also, I think our corn seed and soybean seed is going to get delivered today. So we need to make room along this wall here. So we have some space for that. All right, so got the field cultivator out and moved some of the machinery around. Got the tile, tile stuff in the back corner there and then we freed up all the space along this wall so we can start stacking seed boxes when those show up and then we should be able to get the new combine parked in here yet too. So just walking into the combine the door is a little bit bigger which is nice you got this little head, extra head space here but what I also noticed and like about it that the buddy seat folds up and you never believe what is under the buddy seat it's an actual refrigerator so that's pretty cool is it necessary probably not but it's here so probably use it keep some drinks cold definitely a lot more cubby space there's a little cubby behind the seat here there was in the old one, but um, that was about it. There's a little cubby here in the old combine. And then there's a cubby here. That's new. And then there's some extra space right here too. Yeah, this, I noticed this uh, door needs some attention. It's kind of flopping right here. Extra cup holders down here. And even under the seat, it's just a platform. Even more cup holders. So there's like one, two, three, four, five cup holders. If you're extra thirsty, I guess. 
but yeah definitely more room and space in this one for sure the steering wheel is basically the same it just looks more modern um not as boxy i guess but pretty much the same a little hammer to bust out your window if you decide to roll the combine over you need to go out this window here what i really like is how thin these posts are that opens up a lot of extra visibility where the other one the posts were three times as thick if not more so that is really nice Got the combine all rinsed off now it wasn't too dirty but it had some mud from the road trip also supposedly there's like a button to press in here when you're going down the road you have to press it to make it locked into road mode uh, so that way you can't open up the auger or the grain tank so old combine didn't have that and uh never used it and never knew about it so that's why it only did about 17 and a half down the road. So I guess there's a button that you have to press to go faster. So that way it's locked into road travel. I'm gonna vacuum the floor out and it's kind of muddy. And uh, then I'm going to get a piece of carpet and cut it to fit. I was looking around and there's one thing I did notice about having these skinny posts. There's not really any good spot to mount a CB where the old combine had a much thicker post and even I think a couple spots where you can put a bolt through and mount whatever you want. But I did notice that they have a coax cable right here sticking through for a CB. And I also noticed that there was drill holes in the plastic here and that's must've been where they had it. So then you got your power strip here to power it up and then I'm not sure what this is for, but I don't know if I want to put the CB there or not. I'll try to get it to fit there. I mean, I could. I mean, there's already holes in the plastic there, but even then, it's kind of a weird spot to have it. Um, I might end up getting like a window suction mount and then make a bracket to hold the CB so it's up higher. And maybe I'll do something with that. That's kind of one bad part about this, and that's why I'm cleaning it up now, because it's just going to go in storage. We can't really give this thing a test drive and use it and for another seven months until fall harvest, soybean harvest. So, going to get cleaned up at least, and then uh, they'll be parked for a while. So I got the new carpet in, took a few minutes, but I got it all cut out pretty good. And then I even had a little bit of extra, so I put some carpet in these platforms here. Okay, 
right, so got the combine squares in here. I got all the seed up against the wall, stacked up. We even got the field cultivator back in. So we're supposed to get some nasty weather the next few days. So eventually, probably in the next day or so, should be able to fold this out. There should be enough room yet. Um, obviously gonna have to back the pickup out, but fold this out and a handful of the shovels need to be replaced and just kind of check this thing over, give it some grease and whatever else needs to be given attention. We'll look it over and see what it needs. As far as the combine goes, uh, got the carpet in there, got it cleaned, got it washed nice and shiny. The other thing that um, I need to do inside the cab is put the CB in. See like a coax cable for CB where they had it mounted, but I was looking around here before I pulled it in and I could not find the other end for it and there's obviously no antenna sticking out so I'm gonna try to see if I can find the other end for it yet but yeah so need to see B in it yet but seven months to figure that out I think that's gonna do it for this video so as usual thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one